Okay, so you guys, here's a, here's a typical bad scan. It's got lots of paper texture. I actually just photographed the drawing, but this is what I've seen a ton of, and this is why I actually want to show all of you this. So obviously crop it down first, but the problem is, is that pencil is hard to, um, is hard to correct because sometimes you lose your line. So what I actually do is first do kind of like what I was just showing you a minute ago, is select the background independently and so I'm going to use this little, um, what did I say, it's quick selection tool. And you've got nice good black lines and that helps a lot to kind of know where the boundaries are. So I've selected the entire background and I'll make that a separate adjustment. So first there, um, actually let's, let's uh, I missed one little piece in here. So I've got my background selected, I'm going to unselect this piece of it. So go through and check, you know, there's a little piece right here, the strap that actually goes through. So I want to add that because I'm going backwards. And anything else? No, looks good. So let's take the um, object. My selection is really the background. It's not the, um, you can see the ma art marching ants around the outside. So I'm going to select the inverse. And I've just got my objects. Copy those, paste them in a new layer. So those are separate. So now I can go back to my background. I've got my foreground separate. And I can adjust the background pretty radical until I get rid of all of the white. The reason I just don't delete it is because there's some of the line that's in that selection and it gives a better... So I'm just keeping on moving this until I get background totally gone. It's not quite totally gone, but much better. And then I go to my object separately, and I may even decide to leave that tone in there just to give it some, uh, to pop off the page. But in this case, I want to get, there's a yellow cast to it. So I'll go saturation, command U, turn the saturation all the way off so it's gray. Hit OK. And I might just save this as is, so I have this version of it. Um, But really what I want to do is I want to try to auto trace this in which I need a really clean line drawing. So now that I've got this separate, um, I'm going to whoops, adjust it separately. See if I can just get rid of the paper tone texture. And a shortcut here may be to use this little white eyedropper tool. And wherever I click on the white eyedropper tool, it's going to make pure white. One more time. Come on, there we go. But I'm noticing my blacks are kind of disappearing. So this is my black level, and I want to bring some of that back down. And it's a fine, delicate balance always. You'll never get exactly what you want, but you can get a lot closer just by playing with the sliders. And it's never exactly the same either. So there's a little bit left over there, but I'm gonna say okay, because I don't want to lose too much of my line. And at last little bit, I'll try maybe to get rid of with the dodge and burn tools, which are these ones here. I want to lighten it, which is the dodge tool. Zoom it way up and see if I can just lighten out that texture in this one little piece of it. And that looks good. And the same with the background. I've got a little bit of texture in there. I'm going to lighten that just a little bit further. And sometimes what you can do is to check to see if you've got any color in the background is actually slide the slider all the way the other way. And then you can see where your little splotch of color is. And I go, okay, actually, in this case, I may actually just get rid of that piece by deleting it because I've got that on a separate layer. Whoops. And actually, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to save this now, uh, flatten it. Uh, unless you want this as a separate, um, like I said, if this is a separate thing, let's make a new layer, solid color, just so we can see. And if you wanted to put these on a background just by themselves, what also looks kind of nice sometimes is let's go all the way black. And we'll take this and invert it, which is image adjustments uh, invert. And there, now we got white 
lines on a black drawing and we can put that on a black background. That might look kind of nice. Um, I'll undo that. We'll click back on this and make this white. Because what I want to do is trace this in Illustrator. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to flatten it. Uh, flatten the image. So this is just one JPEG. Save as. Backpack JPEG to desktop. Okay. Meanwhile, let's open up Illustrator. And while this is doing this, I'm going to 